by Anne Bryson, age nine. This does not seem relevant at the moment. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rachni. Their movements during the Rachni Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong, and Rachni weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on them, adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding the search filter now. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Meteorite sample? With traces of element zero? Would Leviathan need ESO? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding it now. This appears to be encrypted data on Reaper fleet activity. You think it's relevant? Possibly. But it is impossible to say without more data. And the decryption key. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? Sovereign, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Doing so now. Element zero deposits. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Rachni activity. 
No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Five possible systems. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Five possible systems. Alien sightings. Three possibilities. Reaper activity? We have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garneau. Are you Bray? Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Arya. Follow me. So where is she? Shepard. Aria, how dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. I assume this is about retaking Omega? This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega locked tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this, Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. He'll stop at nothing to win. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. 
I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. Bray will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. Shipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, Arya. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Head for the command ship. Cruiser, I don't have you on the flight plan. Identify yourself. This is Captain Lentz. Run voice recognition. Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Identity confirmed, Captain. Pulled for approach authorization. How did you get the captain to say that? The hard way. That's right. Nice and slow. Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! Signal the fleet through the relay. We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the General. Should be interesting. Put him through. Arya, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Pull it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris Armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. 
Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. Shields gone! All systems failing! We can make it! Aria, don't be stupid. Sound the evac. Damn it! Program escape pods for the station. Let's go! Everyone out! There's no time! really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. The other escape pods made it. All right, what's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. This is what I brought you for. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. Aria relinquishing command? I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, Commander. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. I'm back. Use the controls to lower the blast door. Over here, Shepard. Aria to fleet. You alive out there? Barely. Holding our own with the Cerberus fleet, but Omega's defenses are shredding us. Keep my army intact, Gerald. 
That is your only job. I suppose. Fine. Tell your boss I'm coming for you. Team, report in. Gray, you there? Affirmative. But only six pods made it. Various entry points. Rally them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ships to land. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. We were lucky. Press on. Lost two more transports. Can't keep up evasive maneuvers much longer. We're right outside the defense station. Hold tight! down, signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions.
There's a good chance the General knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. One of my soldiers by the force. What the hell is he doing? Mechs are coming through the force field. Stand still, you piece of shit. Need to check out that force field. Poor idiot. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Are we blocked? Not this time. Come here. This way. What are you doing? Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder. Who's there? Show yourself. Spirits, look who's back. Arya Talok. Nyreen, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse, mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels. My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, I'd be dead or locked up by now. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyrene Kandros, ex-Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. <laughs> 